innovative, amazing science with Sonana. I am super glad that you are here today and I believe that you are doing great and so am I. To know more about this experiment, do visit us at innovativeamazingscience.in The things required are, I have taken an empty bottle, cello tape, pair of scissors, knife and this is uh, straws I have taken and some balloons. So my first step is, I am going to cut this bottle. So I will just open this cap and keep it down and I'll take my knife and I'll start cutting it. I would recommend that you should not do it by yourself. Please take the help of your parents or an elderly person. And you have to be very careful while cutting it because you are using the knife. So slowly, slowly try to cut it. Take the help of your parents. You can see that I am almost done. I have finished my cutting. So my cutting is done and my base is ready. So I'll keep my base aside. Then I will take my bottle cap and I'm going to make a hole at the center. To make the hole, I'll use my pair of scissors. Again, you have to be very careful because we are going to work with our scissors. So slowly, slowly you have to make a hole. So almost I have finished making a hole at the center of the bottle cap. You have to be very careful because uh, we are using like a pair of scissors and all. I'll show you how I have done you can see it clearly there's a hole at the center of the bottle cap so I'll keep my cap aside now I'm going to take both the straws one is a bit shorter as compared to the other one so I'll take a longer straw and I'm going to cut a small hole rather I would say I would make a small hole Then I am going to take almost that size and cut another straw and I am going to fix that small piece of straw into that hole using my cello tape. You just have to properly fix it inside the hole. You can see it right now. See how you have to fix it. There is a hole. And you have to fix the smaller straw into that hole and just put the cello tape. So I'm almost done. I have used cello tape to fix the straws together. Now you can see how lovely it looks. So now I'll take balloons. I prefer the red ones. So what I'm going to do is to this balloon, I'll just cut off from the rim portion 
I'll show you how. Just a little bit. Just trim it off to both the balloons. So once I have trimmed my balloons, I'm going to take and then fix it to my straws. For that you require the cello tape. Make sure that you fix your balloons properly into the straws so that no opening is visible. Try to close the entire opening of the balloons. So after I fix both my balloons, I am going to show you a closure view. Just wait for that. So now I am going to show you a closure view. Just look at my model. It is almost done. And I have fixed my balloons at the end of this straw. And then I'm going to take this bottle. I'll put my straw from the back side. Now I have taken a black color balloon. You can take any color balloon of your choice. So you have to trim that balloon from the top region. And the remaining part you have to fix it at the base of the bottle. I'll show you how you have to do that. If you observe my bottle, I have fixed the balloon at the base. And then what I'm going to do is, I'll take the bottle cap, which has already got a hole, and the straw which you can see, I'm going to put the straw through the hole. And then I will close the bottle cap and fix it to the bottle. And my working model of the lungs is almost ready. Now, if you observe carefully, the two balloons act as the lungs and the black balloon at the base acts as the diaphragm. Now let's take a closure look. When the diaphragm is pulled down, the pressure in the bottle becomes lower than the atmospheric pressure and the balloon lungs inflates. When the diaphragm is pressed up, the process is reversed. So can you see when I am just pressing it up and down how my balloons are inflating and deflating and it looks so lovely just keep observing how it inflates and deflates now let's take a closure look can you see when I pull my diaphragm down, how the balloons bulges. Can you see? And when I press it inside, how it deflates. So keep observing this. And it is just fun to try this at home. 
This is the working model of the lungs. When you inhale, that means breathe in, air enters your lungs and oxygen from the air moves from your lungs to your blood. At the same time, carbon dioxide, a waste gas, moves from your blood to the lungs and is exhaled. That means breathe out. This process is called the gas exchange and is very essential to life. The lungs serve as the respiratory organs for humans and many other animals. They extract the oxygen from the air and transfer it to the bloodstream. They also expel carbon dioxide. So in this particular experiment, the balloons on the straw act as the lungs. The straws act as the trachea. The bottle serves as the chest and the balloon at the bottom of the bottle serves as the diaphragm. So when the diaphragm is pulled down, the pressure in the bottle becomes lower than the atmospheric pressure and the balloon, that is the lungs, inflate. When the diaphragm is pressed upwards, the processes is reversed. So the real lungs work similarly. When the diaphragm contracts, the volume of the chest cavity increases and the air fills the lungs. So we have to note one thing here that the particular experiment which we did just now, it is just the simplified model of the lungs and it does not take into account the movement of the intercostal muscles. If you enjoyed this activity, do like it and do not forget to subscribe by pressing the bell icon which is right there on your screen. And if you wish to share your experience with everyone, do put it in the comment section or do write a mail so that in my future upcoming videos, I can share your experience through an experiment with everyone. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.